I can never watch another Jeremy fragrance video again. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. I just wanna make a quick video today on my two videos I made on Jeremy Fragrance. Now, I made two very negative videos on him a while ago. Jeremy Fragrance is trash. A lot kind of has changed. I've kind of had different feelings towards everything since then. I'm going on a tangent, being really negative, all the little things that I had known about him, all the little stuff people were telling me. I was kind of just letting it all get to me. Like, you know, I'm in the fragrance community. I'm just gonna turn the camera on and shoot a video. I did that twice about Jeremy Fragrance. There was some things that I would notice, but overall, Jeremy never attacked my channel or did anything that would make me have to respond with a video. It seemed kind of like Fragrance Runner had a little bit more a reason to make his video. He had a lot more to explain. To me, I wasn't really insulted or he didn't really do anything to me. So for me to make a negative video out of nowhere, it's just kind of a little petty. When I shot the second video, the worst video, that was kind of spur of the moment. I used to shoot my videos before I would go to work and I used to work at 10 a.m. in the morning. So I used to like get up, have an hour to shoot videos. I shot one video and then I think I just just turned the camera on and talked for about five, six minutes about Jeremy Fragrance, like cut it up, uploaded it, and it actually is one of the biggest videos I put on my channel. And since then, Jeremy Fragrance, I'm pretty sure he searches his name on YouTube almost every day, or at least somebody he knows does. He knew about that right away. He started blocking me, all that kind of stuff. Like I blocked him on Instagram, he blocked me. We pretty much have nothing to do with each other and he has nothing to do with me. Like he totally knows I made that video and he wants nothing to do with me, which is totally, completely understandable and completely fair. For me, I just wanted to say that I don't harbor those negative feelings anymore. I don't really want the worst for him. I don't want to shoot any negativity any which way. And even though Jeremy may do some weird stuff, we all do some weird stuff every now and again. To me, I don't really see the need for me to make a negative video about it unless um, it's just forced. There was a few questionable things as far as like copying videos, but I have absolutely no proof and it's not nearly as conclusive as the fragrance runner. So for that whole thing, I'm just letting it be. We're all copying each other in the fragrance community. Who knows how anybody made those videos? Just trying to be fair. There's a lot of people that I respect in the fragrance community that really, really like Jeremy Fragrance and it kind of sucks because it's like, I really like this person and I don't know if they don't like me because I, I what I said about Jeremy Fragrance. Now they have to pick sides because they're so cool about Jeremy but then I'm like the guy who talks badly about Jeremy and to me it was just like man I don't really want to have to worry about any negative anything I don't really want to worry about like oh I said this negative thing now I got to defend it now I'm in this pool of negativity it's just kind of all bad Jeremy fragrance you know like him or hate him he is one of the biggest pioneers for fragrance and he's really pushed the boundaries of what you can do with fragrance you may disagree with them and all that stuff he is one of the highest guys for that and you kind of have to give him the respect that he's earned and things like that for what he's got um, nevertheless you could have opinions about how he acts and all the little stuff like trust me everyone's got opinions and I should just keep those opinions to myself unless I really really need to speak on something which I never have had to do so far and to me I stopped kind of commenting on fellow fragrance reviewers videos right around the time that I posted that Jeremy fragrance video because I felt like a hypocrite like as soon as I posted the video about Jeremy I was like I can never watch another Jeremy fragrance video again like, how could I like how could I I say all those bad things how could I nitpick him and then I'm just gonna like watch everything he puts out I just can't do both I'm not that kind of a person I completely stopped watching all Jeremy fragrance content and I used to search fragrance reviews that come out every day and send positive feedback to anybody who posted a fragrance video today and just kind of like help me kind of be known in the community but also help people who are just posting fragrance videos maybe they're lower in the subscriber count and I can just put a comment on there put some positivity on there and help the algorithm out for both of us us kind of I stopped kind of doing that because Jeremy fragrance comes up so much and it was so hard to be in the now of the fragrance community and then also completely avoid Jeremy I couldn't do it so I just want to say I'm sorry to Jeremy fragrance for being so negative everybody's got opinions and we're not all the same person and we're all going to probably disagree on something but I could have probably made my disagreements a little bit more fair and not as kind of jaded and mean and salty as I did. So I'm sorry, Jeremy Fragrance, for putting that attack on you. I know it pretty much didn't affect you and it was just kind of like some low level fragrance guy making some dumb video to you. But I just want to say that I apologize for being so negative and I kind of want to rejoin the full fragrance community now. Um, I'm not expecting Jeremy to really acknowledge this. I'm not expecting Jeremy to do anything different. I'm expecting him to keep me blocked and to never talk to me again. That's fine. But I'm just saying at this point I may or may not dabble in to see what he's saying and I may disagree with him but I'm trying to try not to be as salty in the future we all have our own opinion about fragrances and that's what makes it cool to be fragrance reviewers so anyways guys I just want to put this video out here because I haven't really made 
any negative videos like this, even when people send me just terrible comments, like the meanest thing that you could say to me, I usually will just say, oh, thanks, have a good day. Like, I don't let it get to me and I just put out like two vile videos on them. And I hate that they're some of my highest viewed videos and I would feel terrible if they were my most viewed videos. I don't want to rant on too long. I just kind of want to put my two cents on how I feel about Jeremy Fragrance right now, kind of how I felt about those videos, how I've been feeling recently and kind of where I want to go in the future. I've had kind of like a rough, I don't know, 10 days here. I haven't really been posting any videos. I've been really, really wanting to and I've had like this mix of I feel really anxious and bad and then it makes me want to shoot a video but then I feel stressed and then the longer I don't shoot a video I feel more stressed and I'm just kind of like this ball so one of the things I wanted to say before I really jump right back into stuff is this Jeremy Fragrance video so thank you guys so much for watching the video let me know your feedback down below we're on the road to 25,000 subscribers and I couldn't do that any of you guys help you guys are the best I'm having a great day out here hopefully you're having a great day at home see you all in the next video peace